This training video is brought to you by Avalon Training Group. We specialize in project server training. And in this video, I'll be covering topics related to the business intelligence site and building reports. I'm going to go over launching the Performance Point Dashboard Designer, which is the SharePoint tool used to build your dashboards. I'll also cover the first step related to building Performance Point content and that's establishing a project server data connection. So let's get started. I'll review how to set up a data connection to build performance point content using SharePoint's Dashboard Designer. I'm at the home page of PWA and I'll start by navigating to the Report Center. The Report Center is referred to as the Business Intelligence Center. From the main BI page, I can look at sample reports, existing data connections, or if I want to build performance point content, I can use the performance point tab within SharePoint and click on my dashboard designer. When I click on the dashboard designer and open the application, the dashboard designer application window opens. The left-hand panel shows me the current workspace browser. So the current workspace browser shows me existing content that I've been working with. The right hand side shows me all my content. So if I were to click on performance point content I would see a list of my existing content. This content includes custom filters, key performance indicators, reports, and scorecards which I've created. Out of the box, Project Server does not contain any existing performance point content, so it's up to me to create this content. In order to create content, I have to first establish my data connections. In this video, I'll review how to create a data connection. By selecting the data connection folder on the left and bringing up the Create tab, the ribbon displays an icon to create a new data source. If I click on data source, I can then choose the type of data source connection I'm planning to define. If I select multidimensional, there's only one multidimensional data source, and that's my OLAP cube that resides in SQL Analysis Services. When I select tabular list, I've got options that allows me to connect to Excel content. I have an option to connect to a SharePoint list or a SQL Server table. To build a report off project server data, I'll connect to a SQL server table. Once I double click that icon, the new data source connection settings page appears, and it's here that I can type in the name of my server, which is projects, and then I can select the database. And the database is project web app. Once I've selected the database, I can click the down arrow and see a list of tables that are available. The user views are a more user-friendly data set to work with. So if I wanted to get some assignment data, then I'm going to look for my MSP EPM assignment user view. The data source settings can remain as is. If I click test data source, this will confirm whether my connection is successful. So now I'll go to the properties tab and give this new data source a name. So SQL Assignment User View. I could even click View to get a preview of the data that's contained in this assignment view. And then I'll go ahead and click Save to save the view. So I've just created my first data connection within my dashboard designer. And now I'm ready to build some content. So if I select the Performance Point Content item on the left-hand side, when I open up the Create tab, the ribbon displays different types of content that I can build. The dashboard items like scorecard, KPI, filter are items that we will build and eventually add to a dashboard. To the right of that, you'll see a lot of different report types that you can build. So that concludes our lesson on how to launch the dashboard designer and define a data connection. 